Hey everyone, this is Kibastic, welcome to my channel, and today we have the long-awaited puzzle you have all been waiting for, and it's called the Quest Pyramid. I know how much you liked uh, the same Dragon House puzzle, it got a lot of views and a lot uh, of good reviews, uh, so tonight I'm solving the long-awaited Pyramid for you. So let's unpack it. God. I'm looking forward to make a very unusual video. Here we have uh, a lot of information about uh, this pyramid uh, and uh, there's also a book with uh, more information about uh, similar puzzles. But uh, the most important thing is uh, inside the box and this is uh, the Pyramid of Cheops or uh, someone else. Call it what you want, but it is on my desk so that I can immerse myself in this mysterious dungeons and uh, temples that are inside this building. You know, we have heard so many times about mummies, mysterious temples with various puzzles and dangers inside. Let's see what awaits us today, I can't wait to solve it. But before we do this, hit the like button to support puzzle content and enjoy this video until its very end. Let's go! Well, and as usual we use a timer. Press the start, the timer is running and we begin to explore this puzzle. It's really a pyramid, it's quite heavy, made entirely of wood, and I can already see a few symbols on it in the form of arrows, dots, even though there are some holes. Do you see my hand inside? These are holes. We also have uh, numbers like this. I don't know what they mean. Maybe we should enter uh, some code. There are many small pieces sticking out of this pyramid and it has a multi-layered structure. It is possible that uh, these layers will be separated somewhere. And the most interesting part is right here, at the bottom of the pyramid. Here we have puzzles in the style of movies about Egypt. Here we have uh, some kind of arrows and what do we call it? Hieroglyphs or Egyptian writings? And the first thing I see is one and two and now I also see three. What might that mean? Maybe a sequence? By the way, I don't understand how Roman numerals relate to Egypt, but ok. We also have uh, some riddles with uh, hieroglyphs. As you can see, you have to subtract uh, this from that uh, to make something happen. It's not clear yet what will happen. There's also a logo and uh, around it uh, are also some wall inscriptions. If you look at the pyramid uh, straight from above, uh, there are also some patterns. But it's not yet clear what they mean. They may have some meaning or uh, may uh, be just part of the design, but I find it hard to believe. First of all, uh, this thing has a play. Several top layers of the pyramid are moving, most likely we can somehow interact with them. It's not turning, it's uh, just a little bit of play. Ok, so there's some kind of mechanism there. I would like to detach something from it. Oh, by the way, look, we can spin it around. What does uh, that get us? This disc also has uh, holes in it. Look, now you see my hand skin through these holes. And you see... I uh, spin the disc and uh, the holes move. Now it's one here and now there's hard to tell how many of them there are. It's nice, and what do I need? Puzzles of this type are usually sold linearly, sequentially. They need to be sold one by one. The end of the first task is uh, the beginning of the next and so we solve the whole puzzle. I understand this puzzle is about opening the pyramid and this is really a whole quest inside one pyramid. Let's start from the bottom. Uh, as I understand, uh, the numbers uh, like 1, 
two, three, four that we saw at the beginning. Ah, oh. huh. this disc not only moves the holes, but also shows us uh, some letters or something that appears in these uh, windows. I didn't even notice it at first. It's cool. But here we have the number 4, which means we will do it last. What do you think about the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4? What sequence is uh, that? I remembered uh, that uh, we have here a code that consists of 1, 2, 3, 4 digits that we need to enter. But so far it's not moving. The second one moves, uh, the third and fourth, but the first one doesn't move. Hmm, uh, there are many different mechanisms in the same puzzle. If you look closely, you can even find a secret brick uh, that can be moved. This one definitely going to move, and there is a pointer next to it. It's the same as here. Hmm, there are so many cool things. So, one is a riddle. Maybe it means look from above? Look from above using your eye. Why not? Let's try. And what do we have here? Hmm, indeed, they can be gathered into some pattern. And if you look closely at each of them, then... Whoa, it's amazing! I can see that the pattern doesn't match. Look, the patterns here doesn't match. It seems uh, they need to be swept somehow. I tried to move this layer and this layer moves. This layer and this layer moves. Cool! Wow, I like it more and more. Now we have together one solid beautiful picture to make it complete. And now, by the way, it uh, looks uh, like separate images. And what does uh, that get us? Nothing yet. Hmm. Did I do it right? I think it is. It seems uh, that part of the images uh, is exactly right. Although, if uh, we scroll the bottom layer a few more times. I think it will be uh, more uh, beautiful. See, uh, there are now two clear shapes with heads. Here we have uh, pierogi, hachapuri and pancake most likely. Here we have a bird with a human head and uh, this thing looks like a chandelier. Ok, I guess that's the right option. What did that get us? Most likely some mechanism was activated. Yes! Look, we now have the first arrow. Before that it didn't work. The first stage is solved, I think. Ok, I can't wait to see the rest of the secrets. Did you see that? I know what we have opened. Now we are able to spin this layer with arrows on it. It has arrows on each side, and we can turn it in the direction where the arrows point. Hmm, it doesn't want to turn. Maybe it will start uh, turning when we figure out a few more steps. Hmm, most likely we need to do something with this code, and only then it will start to turn. So we solved this thing. A look from above, ok. The number one is look from above, we did it. But I think that's not all, because none of the mechanisms has been activated. So let's think more about what the arrow is pointing at. Is there anything else it could mean, guys? For example, pull or press or some direction? Let's try to press, but where? Let's press on top. We have these buttons here, so uh, let's try to push them. No, or pull them on. Mm, no, we can't. Mm, it doesn't work. Mm, maybe this one? No. And then uh, there's uh, this thing with uh, the arrow. And maybe we need to pull it up? Remember, 
I was talking about uh, the secret bricks. Maybe one of them will move now. This one really stands out against the rest, as if it has some texture. Oh, by the way, look! Doesn't this button has uh, this shape? Look, one, two, three. And the arrow means to press. Look, one, two, three. I press. Well, come on, I press. Whoa! <laughs> it worked! So here's what the secret brick gives us. KK and arrow. So what do these uh, two K-like symbols mean? Mm, what does this uh, dotted line mean? Or is it some sort of uh, vase? Two story? Or uh, something like a Christmas tree? Hmm, well... Here it is. A Christmas tree minus an arrow. So uh, we have uh, both a Christmas tree and an arrow. But why the tree is dotted? Should I poke out a piece of it? <gasps> That's three. Look, we put the tree in the center line and we have the number three. I need to regain a little bit after that. How does it work? Okay, three. What does it mean? Subtract the arrow. I thought that mean that uh, we had to subtract a shape like this from a shape like this and all that is left will be the right answer. But I think in this case it means that uh, the tree should be visible and uh, the arrow is not. Right? That's probably what it means. We already have a three. It's three. Uh, let's try to... Oh, look! These threes are exactly the same with sharp corners. This little three is exactly the same as this one. Haha, <laughs> try putting here three. Okay, three. What's next? Will it work now? No. Maybe I need three here. One, two. No. Maybe there is a place for it. And here we have one to five. And here we have a six to zero. I thought these are four different scales, but in reality it seems to be one long sequence. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. Ok, 3 is set, now I want to find options to move the rest. What else should we have moved? Uh, this part behind these arrows uh, should have moved. Hmm, It doesn't move until the end, maybe we need to get it out and then it will move. Uh, no, uh, looks like we're gonna have uh, to get our main button first and then it's gonna move. Okay, so far 3. Let's remember it. 21 minutes was needed to make the first stage. It's not as easy as it looked. I don't yet know uh, how this can help me. I don't know uh, what uh, this build-up figure has given me. It probably activated this button, but I'm not sure. I got it! It just math problems. Math problems like in school, it's not hieroglyphs, it's numbers. And look how I figured it out. We have a tree like this, which we push down here and we get a three, right? So half of this pattern are the numbers. Now look, look carefully. We're going to cover this with our brochure and we're going to have three, right? Right. <laughs> Subtract one. Three minus one equals two. We enter two. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, here we have two. There's an arrow here. We solved the first problem. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's go. Here we have uh, six plus attention 4 it's 10 I'll enter 0 because we have 0 here I think it means 10 2 then 10 hmm <laughs> cool god I love it okay next 5 minus 
2, 5 minus 2 equals 3. We enter 3 and the last problem. 7 plus 1. It's 8. Now the code is 2038. I don't know what should happen. I will try everything. The roof doesn't open. The lower floor doesn't turn. Hmm. Maybe this arrow. This one. Yes. <laughs> I pulled it out. And then what? It's key like. It's actually the key to some mysterious treasure row inside this pyramid puzzle. What did it get me? It's still not open. Can it start to turn now? Yes! This key was blocking the rotation of this layer. And now look how many things we have already opened. <gasps> Whoa! We can now get every secret brick that was the secret of this puzzle. Now it's opening. My god! Awesome! Now let's do something with uh, these four hieroglyphs. Again, we have a whole series of several characters. And uh, look what's interesting. Here we have uh, two pointers, like this. And uh, I understand uh, that uh, here we also need to enter a code, but not with numbers, uh, but uh, with these elements. And are they all the same? We have uh, something that uh, looks like an oval. Next we have a zigzag, an eye. Uh, this is, I don't know, uh, maybe table with the cattle and uh, bread. I think so. Uh, this is a football gate. And you better name this thing in the comments. I won't do this. And as you can see, all the drawings here are the same. Uh, we need to pull each one of these planks up to a certain level, so we can solve the next stage. Uh, there's uh, some kind of incision here, most likely it fixed uh, them inside. But this is uh, already the third stage, and uh, in the third stage we have this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, I found a clue to the first level, which I use only now. Here are the correct hieroglyphs drawings that uh, we have uh, above and uh, we had uh, to check them against uh, this image. So what can we have at the third stage? It's some hieroglyphs and I've seen them somewhere. Where have I seen them? Oh, here! This table with bread. Here it is. Look. Table, square and bread. Square and bread. Next. This is the eye, also of two parts. God, it's awesome. I want to pay attention not only to pictures, but also to holes. Now they are empty. If I switch to the next picture, the pattern of these uh, holes will change. The next picture is another pattern, you can see it. And here it's exactly the same. Uh, one. There's three, there's two things. So I'm going to focus on uh, these holes and uh, I have to figure out uh, which pattern each of these things uh, corresponds to. Maybe it's numbers, but there's no numbers here. I think I get it. Well, well, well. I noticed uh, the shape of the eye here. It's uh, coming from this uh, two parts and it looks uh, just like this and it is also here look this bird is inside the eye if we keep spinning uh, we will get uh, this thing spiral and uh, this spiral is right here and uh, this spiral is in the shape of uh, an octagon how do you think all uh, these uh, shapes differ from each other. The two corners here, the four corners here, the octagon has eight corners, 
five, one, six, three, and what are this? One, two, three, four, five, seven. That is, each of these patterns means a certain number, which corresponds to the number of corners of this shape, and I have them all up here, these drawings. For example, this chandelier, this one, do you see it? It's in the hexagon, it means 6. So chandelier is 6. So where can I have 6 things? And holes. I need to find on which pattern we have 6 holes. It's genius, let's try to do this. Guys, in one of the next videos I will try to open the most secure depository in the world, which is called Fartnox. So subscribe and hit the bell not to miss this nice video. So we have 6 corners on the chandelier, so we are trying to find 6 holes. There are 8 of them now. Now it's 7 and now there are 6 holes. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and here the pattern looks like a ball. Look up. We have a chandelier right here. On this side of the pyramid uh, there should be this thing. And that would be the right solution. It could be any of these shapes, uh, but we know this is the right one. Looks like a ball. So we have a chandelier and we have a bird like this with a staff and a human head. So look, it's two, see? A bird with a staff is two corners, so that's two. And now we are looking for a pattern with two holes, let's go. This is three and this is two. So, uh, this is where we put uh, this shape. We enter it here. Okay, next we have something uh, three layer. Pancake, hachapuri and pizza. I don't know what it is. Three layer thing. Uh, here we have one corner. We are looking for a pattern with one hole. There is only one hole. So, we need to put this symbol on this uh, three-layer thing. We have uh, that thing here on the side, uh, which means uh, we have to put uh, up the symbol which looks like a football gate. And the last one is uh, two human figures. We have uh, two human figures right here, and uh, this is a triangle, so we need to find three holes. No. Oh god, no, there are so many of them here. Oh, I found them. Here we have three holes and this is the shape of I. Check, here we have uh, this symbol, a table, a gate and an eye. I hope that now we open the pyramid. Yes, 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 <laughs> yeah, we did it, the pyramid is open, the secret of Kyops is unraveled, <laughs> yes. And inside, <laughs> it's not all puzzles, there is another puzzle inside. We need to solve and uh, read it as I understand it. That's it. It's really cool. Okay. Well, okay. And why did we solve all this? It is written here, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. So guys, keep playing games, keep working on puzzles and keep watching quality puzzle content on Cubastic channel. I hope you liked this video and it was enough for you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I would ask you to be active on my channel, because I really need your support right now. I love you all very much, thank you all for watching, bye everyone and have a good time. Yeah. And this is a stand, look. We 
don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. And I thought I was old, but no. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. 45 minutes. As a lesson at school, finally everyone is free.